good morning my baby daddies Ooh, i look crazy because i can't open my eyes i yo this house right here was a fucking shit show at the beginning of this year and now it looks beautiful and i think there's like two families living in there it looks like they built someone bought the house and they like renovated it so it's two apartments now because that's what everybody's doing out here in la and now they're charging for it but my mom just walked in a couple hours ago and was like she was like let's go to victoria's secret they're having buy one get one so you can get one and i can get one I said, okay come on let's go i'll drive so she's gonna buy a bra and i'm gonna take the other one for free shit because i don't have any victoria's secret bras and that's for sure but now she want to waste time i didn't wash my face this morning i'll be doing that sometimes i know i'm supposed to be skin queen but sometimes i'll be lazy yeah that's two different addresses <laughs> that's crazy that house is two addresses now but did i even show you guys the car i always be doing this i ain't shit let me show you guys the mustang Ooh. Come on, Coop. I'm gonna put on some ratchet music. Put on some ratchet music so I can irritate my mom. She's always like, turn it down. She's always like, drive slow. As a matter of fact, I should keep the camera rolling. This is gonna be funny. Especially in the Mustang, I'm gonna drive so fast, she's gonna get so scared. <laughs> So Say it to the camera. Say it to the camera. <laughs> say it to the camera. <laughs> what did you just say? I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going This is the reason why I think that we need um, our own language, okay? My mom be, my mom be cussing people out right in front of their face. But, um, my mom be speaking. I don't think she works here, mom. <laughs> yeah, but um, my mom was literally just cussing this lady out in front of her face. <laughs> I was like, did she just call her what I think she called her? And then she kept going. I said, mom. But then I realized she don't know what she's saying. So I was like, I took the camera out. I was like, mom, say to the camera what you just said. So anybody that knows Ebo knows what she just said. She was cussing this lady out. Like, are you stupid? Get out the fuck my, get the fuck out of my way. Like you didn't see me here. That's funny. Look at that breath. What is that? The butthole? The butthole so you can poop when you're Oh, so you can poop? <laughs> That's what you think it's for? <laughs> That's not what it's for, lady. What did you just say? <laughs> This is crazy, isn't it? I said I'm gonna give me some tongs. Yeah, what'd you say it's gonna give me? Infection. She said that's gonna give you an infection. Ugh. Somebody wanna buy a mom? <laughs> Mommy, look at this cute tongue, 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 tongue. How about this? You like this? What'd you say? Do you like this? Oh, you're good. No, but look at for the holidays. <laughs> Did you guys know you posted mixed in the sick room and in pink too? I did what? They know somebody. <laughs> 1050. We're gonna see how much it drops down. This is how much it was, and it's gonna go down to 30 something dollars. Right? Or like 40 dollars. <laughs> it's a good deal. I'm like, what? 103. Okay. Ooh, 350, 350, 350, 350. Mine? Yeah. 
We go find. Okay, mama, she brought us to the to the real cook up. And then I got approved for a credit card. So I got fifteen an extra fifteen dollars off. So we're trying to get her approved too, so we can get another extra fifteen dollars off. What's your name? Where do you tell them to come? Fig and Fig at seven. Come and see her. What's your name? Laura. Laura. She's so nice. Is that what you said? Yeah. Thank you. We're approved for this amount. Okay. Same thing. Okay. She, she didn't want to say to you. Sorry. So you don't hear it. I She tried to do it all slick. This amount. Okay. Nosy. So let me give you guys the discount. Oh, let's see. You paid. Watch out. I'm sorry, man. Oh, God. It's a twenty-one ninety. Ah. Do you want to charge $2? your card to yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Shoot. Go ahead. Why so you can enter your social card card in your twice for you. Thank you. I found some pretty cute shoes. These are some cute wedges. These are really cute, and they're wedges. So, you know, these last all day. And them, and they're $13. $13.99. And I found these ones. I found these ones. Two wedges so, as well. I'm out of the big sizes for 12 and 13, but completely out. This is all I have right now. I'm pretty cute though. Yeah, these <laughs> are really black. <laughs> yeah, I just got them. I'm sorry. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> I already have these in black though. Let me see what the beige ones look like. Those you can wear with anything. Yeah. Much. Mm -hmm. yeah. The black ones, I've worn them to the ground, man. So <laughs> to get them in beige, look it. Yeah. Ooh. I think I had them in 13 though. No, no, no. Yeah, because these, whoo, real tight. Yeah. And you our don't have these in 13? No, our shipment comes on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. I should be back home by then. So once like, we get shipment, a lot of people start coming because they already know, they know. when. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be back. Well, I think these ones are super duper cute and they are going for 19 dollars So I think I'm going to get these ones. I might get those ones. I like these ones a lot, so I'm gonna get these ones for sure. And then these are really cute too. And they're going for $26.79. Cute little slides. Leather. I'm not sure yet, but these ones look really cute and comfortable. No, I won't. I don't know what made me try these on, but these are coming with me too. Those are plain. These are a 10 too. These are a 10. 46.88. A little pricey, but these are cute. This is cute. So that she has to shop in those shoes so that we can see if we're going to get them. She said that they hurt her toes a little bit. <laughs> you already got enough tennies. You got enough tennies. You don't even go to the gym. Exactly. How much was it? Twenty-one eighty-eight. For both pairs of shoes? Yes. So how much was this one then? One set. <laughs> So, I had to come up. These, they said $13.99, you guys, but they're a one penny. One penny. Can I see? Is it on there? Yeah, it is. One cent. She was like 21 something. I said, how? You did, you missed something. <laughs> That's crazy. Look, my mom find out that I got a shoe for a penny. Now we got to go back to the shoe section. <laughs> That might be. No, 40. You just gotta steal it from H&M or something. You just go in there when they're not looking, take all the clothes off and just carry it out and then they're gonna be like, man, huh? go yeah. where? H&M or Forever 21, Macy's, anywhere that has mannequins. You're not going there. You go or you take the mannequin and you start walking out. People are gonna be like, excuse me, ma'am. People are like, I paid for it up front. <laughs> they're not gonna know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And what were you talking about in the car today? <laughs> were you talking about where I tell you to go take something back? We were coming for the end of the year. Here you go. 
in the meat cell. <laughs> My mom is worse than me, you guys. So, me and her bought the same bra. <laughs> Who, what are we, twins? We bought the same bra. I paid for the bras, and I paid, what did I pay? Is a receipt in here? Probably not the same, you got the black one. I, I know, I paid 2727 total for two bras. So, here's your bra, madame. Twenty-seven for two dollars. <laughs> That's what they say. Eight forty something at the um, JC Penny and the rest of the mm -hmm. stores, and then we pay two for one. Exactly. Sure. Twenty-seven, and we got the what type of bras is? This? It's, I don't know. It's popping. We both tried it on. We was like, dang, they make our titty look good. <laughs> <laughs> we was like, fuck that. She is expensive, but it's cool. So after like all the discount and um. The whole us uh, signing up to get the credit card uh, got fifteen dollars off each. We would have only got one fifteen dollars off if I didn't say like I let's know, split the order. It. So yeah. we got thirty dollars off our whole off, right. purchase. That's true. So um, yeah. and we got a credit card with a pretty high spending limit. So that's good. And then <laughs> our drawers. Let's see how much did we pay for this? My mom paid twenty nine twenty one ninety. $21.90. I pay more than that at Ross to buy underwear. Okay, I'm just saying. How many? We got 10 you... pair. I got a whole bunch of these little cheeky ones. Um, The ones that are tongue, 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 to tongue, tongue, to tongue, tongue. I got a whole bunch of them. I got like seven, and my mom got three. So, be the one paying that for that one. Yeah, so I don't know why. She, I kept saying, like, put the. I was like, charge for the underwear. Like, But, anyways, you would end up paying more if you bought the bras. So, you're lucky. So, I'm not going to show you guys my mommy's panties. <laughs> mommy's panties over there. Yeah. my hand full. Oh, okay. I'll put them here. <laughs> and then, I got these cute ones. This one says Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret, VS, VS, VS. No, the orange one. I didn't like the orange one. I got a green pair, which is like a lime green. Really cute. They're all the same style. I like this style because... Um, the actual panty part is cotton. I don't like all the rest of them were like polyester or something. And then I got these sparkly ones just because they were sparkly for the holidays. They're black and they got sparkles on it, y'all. Showing wearing something, showing what you have on the there. Oh, I should have. Yeah. Anytime you are wearing the black, <laughs> that black you wait for the lady to share to the. I don't wear underwear <laughs> outside. Huh? What do you mean you don't wear underwear? I don't wear underwear outside. I only wear it in the house. Or when I'm on my period. So then I got the burgundy you walk one. Around that underwear. Yeah. Shame on you. Mom, shame on you. Your whole life you've been wearing underwear. You you don't feel uncomfortable. It's comfortable. I wear my underwear and go to sleep with it too. Larry, you're coming in through the sewer. You have your That's too much, man. What no. about when you want to just feel the breeze, the spiritual guidance? I wear some loose ones. You got some pink ones. <laughs> Or that's like a nude color, a white girl nude. Like yeah, this one is really cute. The pink. Hot pink. That's not hot pink. That's burgundy. You don't even know your colors anymore. That's fuchsia. Fuchsia is the same as hot pink. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's You're crazy. And then this one says Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret. I love it. They're black. So yeah, those was all of mine. And then we went to Nordstrom, right? <laughs> I didn't even get anything from Nostrum. Shame on me. Shame on you. You didn't want me to get anything. This one's like, I don't like this one. Yeah, I don't like that. My mom has it's bad taste in shoes. Because, because it's, it's, it's cheap. How about the clothes I got? Then I can pick up Sudra, but the one. Uh, mom, you were at Nordstrom Rack and the things that you picked up looked like they were from Walmart. So it was just like you came all the way to Nordstrom Rack to buy something you could find at Walmart for $5. These shoes, the little wedges, they're just regular little cute wedges, but they were a penny. In the store, I was telling you guys, like, oh, these shoes are like 13 or something like that. They were one one cent, one penny. It don't cost that much to make a pair of shoes like that, even in China. So we know. Who paid a penny for a shoe? Whole oh, shoe. What wedges? Both of them, too. Both of them, too. So that pretty much it was half a penny for one shoe. Right? <laughs> Not even 10 cents. I wish y'all could see her face right now. She's like, not even 10 cents. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, name. Not even 10 cents. And I went to go look for one. It didn't give me time to go get one. What? Yeah, I went to go look for one to see if I can get a shoe for a penny. So it would be like, I got a shoe for a penny. 
in America. <laughs> I don't even get a penny shoe at Swap Me. Yeah, that's at Nostrum, right? A penny for a shoe? I said, let me go get me one. She didn't give me time to go grab one. Well, we so, was in there for a long time. The thing is, it doesn't I'm tell tired. you. I, wanna I was tired. I was. Yeah, I still am. See, if I had gotten the shoe just exactly like that, but it's on my size, she would give us to with, it, with that stamp price. To the fact that we cannot return it. That's all she would say. Make sure you don't return because if you return it, then they might change your mark. Mom, that's not how it works. If there's a price on the shoe, they're gonna mark it for the price that's on the shoe, unless it's the same exact shoe. That's what I'm saying. That's what I wanted to go But you, you're you not gonna be able to find the same exact shoe. I told you, these ones were returned. These ones are obviously returned and worn. Maybe it comes from the actual Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. Online. Maybe they bought it online and wore it and then returned it to the store. No, you could tell that this has been worn, is what I'm saying. Only you knew that it was worn. It's inside. Outside still looks clean. Yeah, exactly. The outside still looks clean. But anyway, and then I got this pair of shoes for $19.99. So it was just a whole day of come ups. This is another pair of wedges. Just a really cute um, minimalist. <sighs> I have a corn growing in on my foot. I don't know, have I told y'all already? I have a corn or a bunion, it's called a bunion, right? And it hurts. So I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to be in a boot for, you see that? You see how it's pointed out from my foot? Like what the heck? Mom, why would you do that? I just said it hurts. <laughs> I thought it hurts only when you put half shoe on it. Mm-mm. I'm sorry. My poor bunion. What the heck? And this has been started, this started since the last time I came to LA, which is weird, huh? So it's like about three weeks old. And it's just getting worse every day. Painful. And so that's just why I was like, let me get some wedges because I know I'm not gonna be able to wear my pumps how I be wearing them. Like, that's probably the reason why I came in like that. You see? Aww. Oh, I wear too many heels all the time. Mm -hmm. Even with the clothing, with the, my website, like, I was like, the photographer was like, you gonna wear he heels with every outfit? I was like, clothes don't look cute unless you have on heels. <laughs> it was funny, but. Yeah, so successful day of shopping. I'm gonna take a nap. I always say I'm gonna take a nap, but then my mom started talking. When? <laughs> You can't even put your shoe, take the shoe off. What did I start talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> How are you going to sleep when you get all the things everywhere there? How are you going to sleep on top of them? You're about to start sleeping. Mommy, <laughs> 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 funny. Yeah, I'm going to take a nap, y'all. <laughs> on top of the shoes. Yeah, right on top of them. I wonder, I should be editing because it's basically it's vlogmas. But I'm just going to make sure I vlog every day of, of December. I'm not going to not vlog a day in December. So technically, happy Vlogmas. Happy, happy December. Happy December 1st. Um, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I did last night. So hopefully I can get some Snapchat clips. I know I, I saved a lot of my Snapchat clips and my clips from um, Instagram. So I'll insert them so you guys can see what we did last night. Pretty much we ended up going. We didn't snap our food. We were so hungry. We ended up going to... Um, BJ, not BJ's, um, Dave and Buster last night. And we bought a card to like um, play games and then we sat down to start eating and then they started saying that they're about to close. So we're like, we're not gonna be able to play these games. So I got my money back. So yes. Peace out. MK? Hey. You gotta get over here. Oh, hey guys, it's sweet. Oh, Jennifer's here, guys. What is the one? Oh, you guys miss me or oh, whatever. But I'm here and I'm back. Ooh, ooh. Can I get part of the camera? She, I guess she finished talking, so then she turned the camera to the wall and waited until I came back. And then she was like, you see what I did for our commercial break? Oh, you're a dummy. We went to go home. Yeet! It's been like two years. What, since you've been on the vlog? Yeah. No. You were on that Vegas vlog, Memorial Day. I was? Yep, but you don't watch my shit. None of y'all niggas watch my shit. Yes, I do. No, <laughs> you do. Yes, I do. You obviously don't. He said it's Wait, been two I years. Wait, the Vegas? Mm-hmm. 
I didn't see the that. same one when Helen was saying you was in it. But you know, my like friends is fake a little. But then I don't remember. Yeah, okay, Maybe whatever. I was just so drunk, I just didn't remember. <laughs> I just didn't remember. You just didn't remember. Okay, let me put on the bra. We can get out of here. You know, um, Chioma's sister. No, her name was Chioma. Yeah. Um, she, uh, oh my God. Yes. I'm like, she's gonna get so burnt out. She's so cute though. She is. I'm, I'm like, like okay, fuck it girl. up. <laughs> so we decided because it's only four minutes away from my house that we're gonna turn up, go back to the house, and then take an Uber back. Yeah. 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 It's my bad. It's really sweet. It's gonna make me sick. It's okay. Congrats. Congrats! Oh. This is her birthday bottle, low key. Birthday. Hi, Tay. I mean, Wait, your like graduation. Away. I mean, your graduation. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> her graduation bottle. Oh yeah, she graduated, y'all. She graduated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn not motherfucking four. Oh. It's that boy bien. Though. It's that boy bien. Muy bien. <laughs> Super muy bien. Okay, I'm tired of this motherfucking light. Got me fucked up. Sure I'll dip right across the street. But you that, tell me I won't. <laughs> you will. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the muy bien. That calypso shit, but it has to have a whole bunch of sugar in it. it Fuck yeah. Shit like a hundred grains. A hundred what? Hundred grains. <laughs> hundred grains. She made me sick. Y'all, this is the reason why I'm so ratchet right here, and I've been only 28 grains. I've been I've been suppressing it for so long, but now his head's so big. Oh, he's a midget. Dang. Jesus. Look at that. Oh, in your little heels. Mm -hmm. Me after losing two pounds. <laughs> Look at that water. <laughs> This actually not bad though. No, it's not, but I know it's gonna have us messed up. Beach, liquor, liquor, liquor. Messed up the better. The more messed up, the better. The better. Reminds me of the old school days. Mm. We used to get messed up for fun. Mm. <laughs> While you're drinking a fucking bottle of brandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't vlog. Yeah, the whole time I've been here, yeah, but I'm wondering if I vlogged at all today. I edited all day? Damn. Well, hi guys. <laughs> I'm at Lillian's house. She just went. She made us some spaghetti. Bolognese. Technically. Hey, Lillian. Look at my sheet. Tell me that's not wifey material. <laughs> you made that from scratch? Um, she made it from scratch, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> She made the pasta and stuff from scratch, not the bread. Yeah, I made everything else. I hand rolled the pasta. Yeah, it was crazy from watching her do that. Yeah, boiled it. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me, I don't know how to, I don't know how to have manners. Hmm. Eating as if I've never seen food before. It's real good too, y'all. Is it actually? It's real it? good. Look at that. Fresh, steaming. Everything is hot. Me, when I make food, one thing will be cold. Everything else will be. <laughs> this pasta is hot. Sauce is hot. Bread is hot. Tear it apart. Where's my water at? That's everything. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm sorry I didn't check in with you guys all day. I was editing. <laughs> Honestly, that's all I did. <laughs> all I did today was edit. We watched some Christmas music, movies. Mm -hmm. Dropped off something for my mom. Got some gas. Got some bread. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are, y'all. Yummy. I don't taste my food until it's done. I wanted to get you eating it. How? How is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can really taste the oregano. You know, the colors, they're really bringing that Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. It's I really love, bringing in. I don't know, the asymmetric theme that's going on. Yeah. 
And the cheese. Oh, How cheese. do you say, um... Just so fragrantly. Mm. Oh, arousing. Mm. You know. Exactly. Transports me to Italy, honestly. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the crunch. <laughs> I know. The texture. Is this Texture. ASMR? <laughs> giving me ASMR vibes. A, a, she killed me. A mukbang, whatever it's called. A, a mukbang. A mukbang? She said we're doing a mukbang. <laughs> I'm dyslexic and she makes fun of me for it. Good <laughs> morning, mental illness. I, mm, she's irritating you guys. Don't listen to anything she says. Okay. She kills me. <laughs> but yeah, That's so. Funny. You just whispered that into the microphone, so now they know. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. Can I have some? <laughs> Look, can I have some? No. I actually don't. I no, I don't want to. Less salt so that, yeah, mm -hmm. I will be salt. It's actually really perfect. She just, she likes diabetes. I just. Okay, what's up? Good morning. So, right now I'm downtown, like Fashion District area. I have a meeting with one of my tailors. She made my, um, jumpsuits like I have these really beautiful colorful jumpsuits and they were popping and shit but um the stitching I guess the material she used in the stitching was um like it was getting loose and I don't fuck with that I'm not trying to sell qual I'm not trying to sell no fucked up shit so when I always look at the stitching and stuff and I realize that the stitching might loosen up over time especially since it's especially since it's stretchy so I'm here to meet up with her we're gonna talk about how to fix this <laughs> um that's literally the only piece that I got that had any issues though. So I'm trying to do this and return this car and get like a, a easier car to drive up the coast. Up the coast, it's not a coast. Drive back to, oh shit. Trying to find a better car to drive because um, this isn't all that good on gas, so. So yeah, I'm gonna go take this car. And get a few more things in them. But yeah. Well, I'm at my auntie's restaurant. Home by a bakery and cafe. Let's see what she has to say. I see her looking. I see, I see she can see me. Auntie! <laughs> Hi, yeah. how are you? Oh my god, you're still here? I am. What? How are you? <laughs> it's been so long. I'm good. Good. Where's my auntie? Come on back. Auntie. Here, here. Okay, well, I'll walk. <laughs> play lotto You're gonna play lotto tomorrow? Why? Look at, nice. look at you. Look at you. You look so good. No, I'm fat. Life is treating you. <laughs> You're not fat. Look, you, you lost good. weight. You. Yeah, I lost some. I'm still losing shot. This summer I will have abs. Yeah. How's everything? What do you have? Y'all sick? No, don't do that. <laughs> it's a camera. <laughs> What's the small one, Archie? Hmm? Hello? What do you want? What can, how can I help you? Hello? Yeah, how can I help you? <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> she was like, what? I'm gonna call her back. <laughs> she was like, I know my mom. That nice, sweet Cynthia. So, did you go to Chickens? Chickens? No. I don't even think he knows I'm here. <laughs> I don't think he even knows I'm here. How are you? Good, oh. I was like, let me slide by. I had to do somebody's hair, so I was like, um, the person. Nigeria moms are the best, though. Her little baby is at school. She's in school still. Still fine. Okay. The bread is soft. This bread is soft. You made the bread? I made the bread every day. Wow! My mom is my, my auntie's bread, man. I remember when I was little, this is the only bread I used to eat. My mom used to try to get me to eat those 
bread from the store. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's go get bread from Auntie Chinyre. We used to make bread in the morning when we were oh, younger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the best. Now she's making food for her last born. You're making this for Mara, right? For you, I'm making oh. <laughs> For her firstborn. <laughs> This is the softest bread in the softest bread in the world. Like, I love her. She's at a restaurant. She's made all these meat pies right there. I'm thinking about giving her some money. So if any of my baby daddies come by, then y'all can get some meat pies for free. Just tell her that you know me. Her niece, Amara. I'm going to drop some money with her. If I don't, then I'm not going to put this clip in there. At my Carla's house, I was lying to her about being here. But I'm here for real now. Balenciaga mama, she bad, she bad, she bad, she bad. You look so cute. That's how you be going to church, I mean to school. My mama made you something. Ooh, this is mama made? Yeah, she was, I was, it has fish in it. I don't like fish, you like fish? When do you not like fish? I, I don't like fish inside of rice. Oh. Or like soup or stew. This. this gonna make me not cook. <laughs> Good. Wanna come upstairs? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Say hi, Carla. Hi. You look so cute. You look like a teacher. Miss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that is kind of our trademark here, Logan's. All our Christmas color candy canes start out with that same stripe pattern. Five little stripes and one big stripe. And that's what I'm putting together behind the heater back here. Now this first piece that I'm going to show you right here, this is going to make up our five little red stripes. Just like you guys see on the candy canes up there. So this piece right here will be our five little red stripes. Can you guys all see that? Yes. And then this next piece I'm going to show you, this is going to be our one big red stripe. And being that it is big and red, we like to nickname this guy right here, Big Red. I thought of that myself, so there's Big Red right there. And then what Taylor's working with right there is going to be the center or the middle of the candy cane. And you'll see in just a couple minutes here how it all pulls together. Now this first piece that I showed you here, I'm gonna begin to Bitch, I just realized <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Don't listen to her guys. Um we're at the we're at Tom. We're getting cheese back. My baby daddy are welcome. We're y'all. Um, he's such a hater. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, we're at Tom getting some chili cheese fries. Oh my god, mm, my whole splash is so good. Every time you're vlogging, we're eating. Really? Yeah, I think that's, you know. That's our thing? <laughs> That's funny, yeah, we do be eating. Where the fuck is this nigga? Because that's why I was confused as to if we paid because he was supposed to pay. Well, I didn't care about this type of tab, you know? I'm gonna need a larger one. Hey, you wanna meet us at the bar? <laughs> Did he get there? When did you guys get here? Like 10 minutes ago? We've been there for like three hours. Mm, go sit right there. Go sit right there. Do you think it'll make a difference? No, I was thinking for that. Damn, it feels like the air is blowing right here, though. Yeah. Yeah, on my feet and everything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Dang, look at their burgers. They look like In and Out burgers. Bitch, have you ever tried their burgers? I don't know. No? Yeah. I told you, I started with one thing here and I never, never no, went anywhere else. So where's the, where's the meaning of the smoke that I got you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You said she's so hot, so I'm saying, what's the meaning of the smoke? Oh, there is no remaining. There's no remaining? That's why we call it. Good morning. Whew. So I just finished taking my shower and getting ready. Carla left me here with her keys, so I'm gonna go and take her keys to her job. I'm, I'm gonna go meet my friend Tafara before that, so. <sighs> yeah, my day has started. 
I'm gonna hit the road. We got three wigs done. The We had a, okay, let me show you guys what we did. So we had this gray wig, or Carla bought this gray wig, and <laughs> it was gray last night. Now it looks like a brownish gray because we try to dye it like blonde, <laughs> and we didn't do it right. We need to use like dye that's for gray hair because that's actual gray hair. And then I went ahead and did an ombre on one of her wigs. Just a regular ombre. Looks really cute. It's still drying. And then, um, and then I styled, and then I styled this wig right here, which is really cute. Um, that's just why I didn't come back to the camera yesterday. And then this morning, I went ahead and took the old closure. She had an old closure on one of her wigs, and I took it off, and then put on the new closure that she bought yesterday, or and then put on the new closure that she bought. So, one, two, three, four. Four wigs. It was like a project last night, y'all. It was crazy. Oh, I almost forgot to grab my food. Am I crazy? <sighs> so, yeah. Now, I'm about to get the hell out of here. I said I was going to leave at 9.30. It's 9.24. I never know where the light is in this kitchen. Because it's on the socket. That's why. And then I got some bread in the car for my auntie. And the, the rest of my sandwich that my auntie also made for me. You guys should go down. If you guys live in the IE, you guys should type in Home Bakery Cafe. If you like Nigerian meat pies, she makes the best ones. <laughs> and then she also makes the best cookies, the best bread. So it's called Home Pie. It's called, it's called Home, I think it's hot, called Home Pie Bakery Cafe. Bakery and Cafe. So you guys should check that out if you're in Ontario or Corona because it's close to Corona. That's where she lives. And whenever you're at somebody's house and you sleep in their bed, make sure you make their bed back up. That I don't know who raised y'all because people be coming to my house and leave my bed looking stupid. I'm like, you don't have a mom? <laughs> my mom would have whooped my ass. Carla, whenever she comes to my house, she makes sure she cleans it. Whenever she leaves my apartment, she makes sure she puts the stuff that she used back where she got it. Maybe because partially my mom helped raise her too, so. But I don't know, shit. I'm like, am I the only person that do this other than Carla? I'm leaving Carla's job right now. I just dropped off her keys with some lady in the office. And it says that it's gonna be three hours and 30 minutes for me to get home. I'm excited about that because last time it said five hours and something. Y'all remember, I ain't about that shit. That shit took too long. So with this car, hopefully I can get out there much quicker, but I'm gonna have to stop and get gas. I need to fill up somewhere cheap. You know, you know how that go. I need to fill up somewhere cheap. I should take this car back to Fox and switch it for a different one. Oh, what's gonna make a right? remember this exit Linwood Road um, because that was the cleanest bathroom I've ever been in it smelled good I don't know I hate using the bathroom outside so just remembering that just what's the name of that um, what's the name of that damn gas station feet, it's Murray called Hodge flying fi flying dollar sign or something like that because that was the best bathroom I've ever been in like you know where you get gas and use the restroom because I had to pee I had to pee but uh, we're back on the road we drove an hour it's saying we drove an hour and now we got an hour left two hours and 29 minutes I didn't even know that I drove an hour already so it looks like time is moving pretty fast in this car I'm not feeling all that tired you guys can't even see me I'm not really feeling that tired I'm dipping on people uh, my gas tank is full <laughs> So I'm feeling good right now. I'm about to just relax for the rest of the way. Two hours of good music and racing. Well, I don't really like to race. I just like to drive with somebody. Like if I can see somebody behind me or if I'm following somebody that I don't even know. Like on the way to Vegas, that's what I like to do. It keeps me awake. Like I start feeling like that's my friend and we're going somewhere. <laughs> my dick can change the light. I'm tired of missionary. Wanna see you on your face. Put that ass up in the air. I'm loving how that pussy tastes. Welcome to Nevada. I made a new friend, you guys. This Toyota right here, he been 
dipping. <laughs> He's dipping. I'm like, how is he keeping up with me in a fucking Toyota? It's throwing me off. Look at You think I'm going to try and ca catch up with him? Or try to keep up with him? Oh. No, he finally got in front. He finally got in front. He feeling some type of way, but watch me dip off on him. Step on that gas. Pull up on him and look at him in the face. What type of fucking Toyota you driving, buddy? <laughs> Had to catch up, you know? Pass him up real quick. I just got two big boxes from my clubhouse. Oh man, can't even close the door. Well, <laughs> one of them is from Inkyoma, and the other one is from Fashion Nova. Whew, they heavy though. So I'm finally home. I dusted off like 30 minutes because I'm driving a sports car. I haven't paid rent yet. So that's what I'm panicking about right now because my office closes soon. And that's why I needed to get back in time. Somebody ordered a package from me. She lives across the street from me, so I was like, I'm about to just go drop it off. But there's a gate. <laughs> there's a gate. Enemy of progress, I need to go return this damn car. Can someone enter this place, please, so I can get in? Literally, her house is right there. I can park my car right there, hop the fence, and go bring her. <laughs> Should I do that? This is all red. I'm gonna get in trouble if I do that. I'm gonna give it five minutes. This, this area is too quiet. Where the car is at? Somebody would have been pulled up to my complex. Your destination is on the left. I rang the doorbell and nobody was in there, so I put it right in front of her house. So Yesenia, if you see this, I dropped off your package at your door. Say bye to Chris. Y'all didn't even see him today, but. <laughs> Why you always try to get so cool whenever the camera come off? Look at you, look at your hunchback. <laughs> you a turtle. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, we just finished at the gym, so. I have a whole new model. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, so I decided I'm not, I'm trying to figure out what schedule works for me. I feel like I get too relaxed. I know I do a lot, but I know I can do more. But I feel like I get too relaxed whenever I get home from the gym because I take a shower right away. So I'm gonna stop like taking a shower right away because I don't like sitting down when I just got back from the gym. So if I get the stuff that I can get done standing up, like washing clothes, that type of shit done, if I have to do it before I sit down, then that's what I need to do. So right now I'm opening up the Inkyoma package. I'm excited because I've been eyeing these um, duffel bags ever since she launched them. So I ordered three, y'all. What am I gonna use three duffel bags for? Also, I got a support. She supports me with every single thing I do. So I got to support as well. Um, I wanted to buy hair from her. I wanted to buy hair so bad. I get so much hair. So as I was checking out, I was like, girl, you got three wigs on the way. <laughs> Don't do that. So I bought the duffels. Ah! I'm gonna put the link down below where you can find these duffel bags. Okay, Ankara print duffel bags. Now that's innovative. Oh, I'm gonna be so fucking bougie at the damn airport, y'all. And it's big. Oh, I gotta do a whole video on this. I'm gonna do a whole video on this. I'm adding this in my next haul. Look at this. Designer bag in Kyoma. Jeez! Walking through the mall, all bougie, bitch. Walking through the mall, all bougie. Shoo. That shit's neat, I love it. Then I got this color. <laughs> I can tell y'all the colors. They're all the same bag, just different colors. And she has like, probably like four or five other colors. So, I got the th my three favorites. <sighs> tell me this ain't fly, you guys. This is so fly, and it's big. And it's made very well. Yeah, I love this. 
I'm gonna be through. Look, look. this is me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get to my flight. <laughs> a carry on and a personal item, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I love these. That was. It was kind of impulsive. I didn't need three, but my, I know I wanted to give one to my mom. I accidentally told her that um, I bought them already, though. <laughs> Accidentally told her I bought them already, so she knows. She was like, "So, are you gonna give me one?" And I wanted to just say no, but then when she got it for Christmas, then I think I did say no because I that was supposed to be a Christmas gift. <laughs> this is my favorite one. This one's gonna be mine no matter what. Double Look how beautiful that is. That color is popping. And they got the yellow on the side, pink on the top, blue over here. So yeah. I love this one the most. So yeah, I think for Christmas I'm gonna give these two away. I don't know who the other one is gonna go to, but I got the purple one because my mom's favorite color is purple. So I was like, okay, this is the closest to her, her favorite color. And then I got this one because it just reminds me so much of native. I might end up keeping this. It just reminds me of like the traditional native um, Ankara. So I was like, let me get this one. So yeah. Support your friends, y'all. She had, um, so let me tell y'all how much it is. Um, each of these, 75? I paid 150 for three. So I paid 150 for three, I believe, or she had a sale going on where it was like buy one It was like buy two, get one for $25. So that's what I did. <laughs> I got a problem. So next we gonna open up this Fashion Nova box. It's pretty big and quite heavy. I told you guys I'm doing like a huge collaboration with them. So y'all gonna see the video of this on my channel, but I also like to show y'all what I got. So I'm gonna show you guys. This took them so long to send to me though. I know that they're um, warehouse, they switched warehouses and stuff like that, so it's taking long for them to ship out orders around this time. But um, the people who got the Cardi B line got their shit right away. Now, I don't know how that work, but I, go, I was like, what? Did Cardi B even do plus size? <laughs> Ooh, it's a lot of stuff in here. Let me see if I can identify anything. Let me count the amount of pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, I got 15 things. So I'm gonna show this in a clothing haul. I'm not gonna open them right now. The hell is this? Now I don't know what I ordered. It's been so long. It took a month. And I know in the first order, cause I had to make two orders cause it took so long. So in the first order I made, I picked like accessories, bags and stuff like that. But then the second time around, I forgot to look over there. So I only got clothes. I'm sad. I feel like I might've liked the things from the first one better, but we are gonna see. Now I'm gonna clean this place up because it's a fucking mess. And then um, I'm gonna take a bath and then like relax. But step one is to clean up. Actually, step one is to live this vlog. This vlog has been waiting to be live for a long time. This is what and I'm watching like right before, now. A man is not your savior, course. featuring and Ace Metaphor it, and Tanya no TKO. I'm gonna watch all parts, and I just baked some um, some catfish her that my mom made for me. It was ready made, like cooked. But um, I didn't like the way it was seasoned. So I re-seasoned it. And threw it back in the oven. And I'm going to snack on this while I clean. 
This is when you know you're privileged, okay? Because I shouldn't allow my clothes to get this much when I have a washer and dryer. It, it's crazy, it doesn't make any sense, I know, but it's okay. I'm figuring my life out. I'm cleaning out my drawers. These drawers were full to the brim, and now everything is folded. I only got two stacks of skirts. These are workout shirts and two pairs of leggings because I keep my other leggings inside the closet. And as you can see, the rest of these drawers are full. These are pajamas at the bottom, and then these are supposed to be like shirts and stuff. So I'm gonna try and get out all the stuff that I'm not wearing from there, from the drawers over there that are also full. Let me show you guys. Also this pile of bathing suits that I'm probably never gonna be able to wear because I'm a beauty influencer and I don't need that many bathing suits. And <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of everything and I'm gonna sell it for $5 on my Mercury. That's every single piece is gonna be $5 because that's the cheapest that I could sell things. If I could sell them for three, I would do that but I can't. So anyways, you see my drawers are full of clothes. It's outrageous. It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Oh, that's my underwear drawer, but this is the only drawer that's not crazy. And this is the drawer that needs to be crazy. Why? Because it's winter and those are supposed to be sweatpants. <laughs> I don't even got that many sweatpants. I guess that's good. I'm trying to declutter because <sighs> I'm only one person. I cannot wear this many pairs of jeans. Okay, I, I don't need that many. Um, so I got jeans here, I need to get rid of at least half of this stack. And I gotta be remorseful, I, I gotta be like, I gotta just turn and look that way and do it and get rid of half of all that shit. I need to get rid of half of this. <laughs> yeah, half of it. That's my goal, to get rid of half of this too. Okay. <laughs> I love my jackets though. That's the thing. That's the only thing is my jackets. Like it's gonna be hard for me to get rid of them. These are all jackets. Yeah, I'm probably only gonna, not gonna be. It's not gonna be half of the jackets because I feel like I've cleaned out my jackets a few times. So it's probably just gonna be a few. Um, when it comes to jackets, I don't just buy them for no reason. Like regular clothes, I buy them for no reason. My jackets, they're like super. Like I have to buy it because I love it. Like look at this one. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, look at this one. It's blue suede. You see that? Look at this one. Leather with embroidery. You see my favorite pink? You know what I mean? My jackets are pretty neat. <laughs> Even my, like, cardigans. Look at that. Dope. So, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to get rid of my jackets. But, everything else, get the fuck out of my house. All oh, y'all gotta go. Low-key, these persons could go too. Round them up. All of these bitches out. Get them all out. Fuck all that shit. Get them out. Look at this. Look at this pile of bathing suits. I've not worn any of them. I, the bathing suits that I've worn are at the bottom of this pile. You guys, it's it's really getting out of hand. Like, <laughs> if I can notice it, it's bad. Because <laughs> I have a problem myself. I'm going to go ham and get all this stuff put up on Mercury so you guys can... Get whatever you want. Five, 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 five dollars. I'm gonna put everything up for five dollars. Unless obviously it's worth way more than five dollars, then I'll put it up for like ten or fifteen. But nothing will ever be more than fifteen dollars unless it's like designer or like some things I have on there from before that are that were really expensive and I never wore, you know. Then I put it up there for like thirty, you know, because it's worth it. But I don't think anything in this batch will be worth thirty dollars. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now, and I got kind of anxious, so I started opening my Fashion Nova package. <laughs> this is like a dress. It's a long sleeve dress, and it's really cute. If you guys want to see the way everything fits and stuff, you got to watch the haul. But I already know y'all know that, because the ones that's here, y'all the real ones. Y'all the ones that watch this and that. You know, the ones over there, they they not really even here for me, you feel me? They not even really here for me, but... You know what I'm saying? I don't really got to tell you to watch it. I know you go watch it. I love y'all. I did it again, fuck it. This was supposed to have fabric softener in it. And I started talking to y'all, the fabric softener was spinning again. And it was spinning when I stopped it and put it back on rinse. So I don't think it was meant to have fabric softener tonight. That's how I feel. Anyways, I got out the shower, if you can't tell by my um, towel. <laughs> and I finished watching a Christmas movie. I love watching Christmas movies. I didn't know this was my thing, um, but I think this is gonna be my new thing to do by myself on Christmas since I'm 
probably gonna be with myself on Christmas for years and years and years to come. Cause I cannot settle, you guys. I cannot settle. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't care how cute you are. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how, mm -mm. I cannot settle. I don't thought, well, I mean, I don't think I could at least. I don't know, like, I can't. If it's something I don't like about somebody, it's gonna bother me and I'm gonna be like, I really be thinking for a long term type thing though so I'm gonna be looking at it like damn this is gonna be forever and if I meet you up front and you doing stuff that I don't like already why would I start thinking about forever <laughs> so yeah let's watch the holiday calendar is this the same girl that I just watched in the last movie what movie did I just watch Christmas with the what? Let's watch a black Christmas movie. A lot, I noticed that a lot of, I noticed that a lot of Christmas movies are like white people. <laughs> Let's watch a black one. I feel like the black ones just have too much drama for me. It's not, okay, I watched the princess, I watched the princess switch. I feel like the, see how the princess switch was? It was like so childish and shit. Like black, black, <laughs> black people movies don't be childish. It be all dramatic and shit. Better good uh Christmas with a view. No, I don't want to watch that. I want to watch a black people one. Oh wait, that it that is a black people one. Christmas with a view. It says you see Christmas with a view has a black lady right there, and then when you click on it, it's white people. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna watch that one. You can't fight Christmas. This man irritates me. Like his face irritates me. I don't know why. I don't know what he played in that I don't like him, but mm mm. Miss me this Christmas. With their divorce set to become final on Christmas Day, a couple must decide if they're really ready to throw in the towel on their relationship. <laughs> so is this a Christmas movie or is this a relationship movie? Because all black movies are relationship movies. Leave us alone. Or at least make it a fairy tale. Why did it gotta be being divorced? Bang. I'm saying, let me find another one. After stepping in to revitalize his family's hotel, a money-minded businessman clashes with the hotel's cheery, Christmas-loving de decorator. So maybe he falls in love with her? That might be cute. Okay, let's watch this one. It sounds dramatic already. Like, why he gotta be all that? Why he can't just come in there and just be happy with everybody else on Christmas? He coming in there trying to change shit. But whatever, you know what I'm saying? Go to watch it. <laughs>